Okay, welcome to the inside of Chucky by Lucky Houses Podio System. Now, app number one in our six part series is what I like to call my seller's lead app. And let's go up to that app. This is the app where all of the magic automation and systemization begins inside of our contact relationship management system known as Podio. Now let's go ahead and click inside and see exactly what this looks like. Now, what pops up on the screen is a dashboard that tells you all the leads that is in your system currently right now. And then if you click on add seller lead, you have a couple ways in which you can bring in leads. One of which is the manual way. And the other way is with by way of web forms and automations that you have out on the internet and so on, where your actual team can fill in the forms and then also your call center and your answering service can fill in the forms. But what we're going to do today is go over the process that we use in my business when we put in a manual lead. And I want to show you the fantastic automation that we have when we set up these apps for my business as well as for the clients and customers that we set the apps up for. Now, let's go inside. First thing I want to do is click on add a new seller lead. And as you can see, the first thing that happens is you want to fill in the actual date. Today's date is the third and we'll put in the time. It's 07 and let's see. Thirty six. Now added by this is the person who is actually handling this lead. And for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to say Charles, the mad scientist. There we go. Now, first name is the name of the seller. In this situation, we'll say the name of the seller is Gregory. First and last name is Johnson. Now, the property address that Gregory wants to sell to us will be 3752 Trent, I'm sorry, Trent Road. Now, as you can see, with the way this app is set up, it's integrated with Google Maps. So I can go over here and click in the full listed address as it drops down from the drop down box. Now I want to put in Greg's cell phone number. So let's just put in 410-941-9610. Greg has an email address, and for the sake of this one, we'll just put in a fictitious one, one of my company ones. We place tenants at. And scroll down further. Organization, you can leave blank. You don't have to put anything in there. Owner address, sometimes the seller of the property it does not necessarily live in the property. But on this situation, we'll say he still lives in the property, so we'll put it down as the same address. 3752 Trent Road, Randallstown. Okay, marketing campaign. This one we leave blank, uh, but you can also have some marketing campaigns that's inside of your system if you want to add it, or should I say, if you want to connect it to a particular marketing campaign. But for the sake of this one, we'll leave it blank. Related property, you leave blank. Call recording. The reason why we have this is because our podio system and the podio system that we set up for our clients sometimes have integration with call rail. And that telephone um, recorded message will show up in here that we had with the actual seller as a conversation from the seller. Now, we'll skip right down to the most important part. And this is your seller questionnaire. And this is where all the magic happens when it comes to analyzing the deal and determining if this is a good deal. These are all the questions that you want answered when you're talking to the seller on the phone and you're getting all the details about the property. For example, first question is, how do you hear us? And like, how did you hear about us? So we're going to make this a fictitious property. So we'll say the person heard about us from, from a letter from probate. Now, the type of property, we'll say this is a single family home. So I'll click on single family home and you know it's it's activated when it's green. That means that the actual clicking on it had an effect. Is there anyone living their property? And since we're saying this, op, this property is owner occupied, 
will say yes, owner occupied. Um, is the house currently listed with a realtor? No. What is the current condition of the property? And we talked to the seller. The seller said the property doesn't need any repairs. They said it's in excellent condition. So we'll just click excellent. If you don't mind me asking, why are you selling, Mr. Seller? Um, need money to move out of state. Okay, how long have you owned the property? Uh, this was a probate deal, so let's say the person who owned it owned it for over 30 years. Do your property need any repairs? No, no repairs. What kind of repairs are needed, if any? So if this was a yes, you would put this, you'll fill in this information. Since this is a no, we'll just say no. How much do property like yours in the area sell for? Well, the owners say the properties in the area sell for $200,000. Well, how much do you need to sell your property right now? Well, we need a total of $100,000. And of course, I'm putting in fictitious numbers and stuff, so keep that in mind. How much do you owe in the mortgage? Well, I owe a total of... 40000 on the mortgage. Is your mortgage current? Yes. If no, you'll put in exactly how many months behind it is it. How much is your monthly payment? Well, my monthly payment is $1,450. Okay. And if you don't mind, if, if we can pay all cash, what's the lowest you're willing to take? Well, we'll say the lowest we're willing to take is... 85000 if you can pay all cash, Mr. Real Estate Man. And last but not least is notes. If you have any special notes you want to add to this record, since this is the first input, we don't need to put any notes here, so we're good to go here. So all we want to do right now is click on Save Seller Lead. Now, as you can see, once we've clicked on Save Seller Lead, the activity box opens up right here on the right hand side. And this is where you have all of your automation and where you're able to see all the automations that's set up. For example, when I put this property in, the first thing that happened is the seller received an email from me automatically just by me clicking save seller lead. Now I have the actual part of that system where I'm able to go into the program and do the automations. Now the way you get to the automations that's in part of Seller Leads is you refresh the system. So I'm going to go here and hit F5 and that's what we use to refresh it. So I've already f 5 and refreshed the page and you'll see exactly what it looks like right now. Now you see these blue boxes or should I say these blue controls that come up that allow you to do different automations and so on. So we'll scroll down to the section where we automations begin. But first, what we want to do is make sure we track this lead. So this lead stage is right now, it's a new prospect. Since we talked to the property, I'm sorry, since we talked to the owner and we know the person has a house to sell, what you want to do next is pull comps. So you're going to do your due diligence. You just got off the phone. So you can move this actual prospect from a new prospect to pull comps. And that's what I just did. And when I do that, you'll see over here on the right hand side, the status change to pull comps. Now, as far as the lead type, we know this is a seller lead. So we'll click seller lead. Once again, status changes over here in the activity box to, to seller lead. And last but not least, we can put in the source of the lead. We know this is probate. And now the reason why I love this source section is because it allows me to have beginning the different automations that's associated with this. So now I'm going to look for the word, the probate leads. There you go. Probate lead. So I clicked on it. And once again, source probate. This is the key to your system, guys. This will allow you to be able to understand exactly where your leads are coming in, how the actual automations is going through the process. But most importantly, when the person, if it's a one-man shop who is watching and following all these leads 
Every day you'll be able to see exactly where the source or what you say, where the stage each leads is at. Now is where the magic comes in. If we talk to the person and we've got the person into the system, now we got to basically pull the comps and do the due diligence. But the best part about this automation is when the person says, no, I'm not interested. So say we talked to the seller, we made an offer and they said no. Okay, this is where the automation come in. We move this to an offer, but if they says no, then what we do is we begin automation. And this is where we can easily select an automation template. We have various templates in the system that come with the system. The automations, these templates will allow us to send automatic follow-up messages. For example, if I click here, you see a wholesale lead follow-up template, a Craigslist lead follow-up template, a probate lead follow-up template, and a driving for dollars follow-up template. So when I click on that particular template, it's going to automatically initiate that follow-up campaign message on autopilot that's the key to it now i can also say no i don't want to do an automatic follow-up because for example excuse me for example they will get a message every month by way of text and email every month from the system but if i wanted to initiate that manually i can initiate an auto follow-up right here by just clicking yes yes put in on auto follow-up and this will this would initiate the auto follow up but if i go down further i can click i can initiate manual auto follow up just by clicking here this will give me a manual auto follow up with email this will give me a manual auto follow up with text message and this will give me a manual auto follow up with a ringless voicemail message so that's the automation that's inside of this system I can have the system set up where it initiates and begins automatically following up on autopilot or I can click a button and send an email, click a button, send a text, click a button, send a voicemail automatically. And that's the power of what we call the seller's lead app.